Bride of Higara. This is Captain Soban of the fleet, Farron Shah. Looks like you could use a hand. Attention all Sobani, pick your targets and engage. Hello everyone, this is Captain Soban. Welcome aboard to Starship Enorma Prize for another episode of Point Defense, Homeworld 2 Point Defense Systems, playing version 7.3.2. Okay, so... In the last episode, we tried to play the first scenario. We got pretty close up to the um, up to this area, but we got overwhelmed by a bunch of units. And most of that was because uh, as we were making our way to that system, um, we lost a big chunk of our military, and we didn't have the military left to actually fight. So in this one, what we're going to do is do a little bit of what the uh, game actually suggests which is to use our battle cruisers as tanks and guides so that we can keep all of our um, main units alive because we're going to need these frigates and destroyers and everything in order to beat this mission. So let's get everyone over here into a position. It looks like we're already getting attacked. Battle cruisers, take care of these. You guys keep moving. You guys move out. Copy. Fighters, take advantage. Keep this frigate alive. We need them. Frigate, you keep moving. Battle cruiser. Keep them alive. Good, good, good. Okay. Fighters. Attack complete. Awaiting further orders. Stay over here. Do not engage. Do not engage. Get over here. Battle cruisers get close to each other. You will be leading this charge, and we will just be supporting. And I'm going to have all the fighters stay docked into the carrier until we actually need them. Docking signal green. Confirmed. Hold and engage. We've got contact. Oh. Destroyer. We've got enemy contact. Arbiter reporting. Vector knowledge. Fighter. Nope. Get over here. Dock. Roger. Roger. Battle cruisers. Roger. Fight these. Enemy contact. Let's do this. Destroyer, get over here. Fighter. Target locked. Opening fire. Roger command. Moving to target point. Let's use our battle cruisers to our advantage. Enemy contact. Good, good. Nope, nope. You guys, do not engage. Reporting. New heading set. Stay back here. Fighters, same of you. Doc, passive. Stay behind. Let the battle cruisers do their job. Hold and engage. We got contact. Copy. We've got enemy contact. Ready. We've got enemy contact. Attack complete. Awaiting further orders. Attack run complete. Yeah, carrier, move up. Reporting. Reporting. All right, you guys protect the fleet. Destroyers protect. Attack run complete. Holding pattern. Okay. And do not get any closer. Good, good. You guys, all get back here. Carrier, uh, go ahead and launch your fighters. Damage report. Hold and engage. We got contact. Battle cruisers continue doing the main battle. Hold and engage. Good, good, good. Contact. Ready. Build that destroyer class. We got contact. Ready. And how are my frigates doing? They're still doing good. Moving to destination. But you are getting a way too far ahead. Stay back here by the rest of the fleet. Enemy destroyed. Need new orders. And we just got reinforcements. Enemy contact. 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 Enem
which are more fighters. Cool. So go ahead and dock into We've got enemy that ship. Coming into dock. Fighters, you're getting way too aggressive. Get back here. Dock into the dock into him. Dock order confirmed. Nope, nope. Stay here. Docking underway. We're only going to use you when we absolutely need to. Total War Frigate, nope, nope. Stay back here. Uh, guys, god dang it. Oh, hello. Oh, there's a battle cruiser. Battle cruiser, focus on fighting him. Stop moving. Alright, carrier, launch everything. Because apparently there's a battle cruiser that does not like your face. Destroyer, uh, focus on the frigates. That's what your guys are good against. We'll have our battle cruisers focus on the enemy battle cruisers. And carrier, passive move. And we're gonna lose our carrier. I wasn't expecting that hyperspace jump in front of us. Okay. We're going down. We're going confirmed. Target locked. Well, that was fun. Failure. We're losing control. Uh. Roger. Reporting. At least we'll kill the battle cruiser. Fighting in dust cloud. Okay, the battle cruiser is dead. Good, good. And destroy the destroyer. Oh, we lost one of our destroyers. Our fighter frigates! God dang it! Ugh. Guys, doc. Uh, you guys, passive. Stay here. Do not engage. Target we don't want to pull more in than we actually have. Okay. Well, other than using losing our carrier from a blitz attack from the uh, Vager, we are so far doing pretty well. Except all my fighters are getting are engaging and dying, even though they're not supposed to. Everyone, passive. Stay by the. Stay here. Do not engage anything. We need to regroup. Same with the battle cruisers. Stand down. Stand down. Stop doing what you're doing. Everyone, stop doing what you're doing. And just stay here. There we go. To war. Get over here. Okay, cool. Whew. Very chaotic. We do have a little fighter squadron that we need to get rid of. So that was kind of a pretty big loss. We lost a carrier, um, so our fighter and corvette defenses have dropped. Because that's kind of what the carrier specializes on in this mod. But we do still have our squadrons of fighters. We're going to go ahead and dock them into this ship. Dock these guys in here. And dock these guys in here. All we have, we lost two of our battle frigates, so we have two tool war frigates left, which are good against. Uh, um, I believe they're good against fighters and corvettes. I don't know if they're good against those in this mod. They may be more. I, I believe they are because I think the battle uh, frigate is still good against uh, normal ones. Okay, and we can't build anything, so we can't replenish our fleet. What we have is what we have. Okay. Um, are you guys not gonna dock? Coming into dock. Reporting. Coming into dock. Ready. I guess I don't want to dock. Alright, dock with this one then. Yep, there they go. 
There was just a little glitch there for a second. Hey, we have a light cruiser that's coming in to help us. Awesome. So you got three squadrons and you got three squadrons. Cool. So we have a lot of battle capability. All you guys are going to stay back here and not do anything stupid. <laughs> uh, so our next group is up here, it looks like. Which is a, has a bunch of platformers. Roger. So let's go ahead and get our guys in the direction that they're supposed to face. Understood. Actually, we need to wait for our turrets to come back online. You lost some of your turrets in the last battle. Ready. Reporting. <laughs> you guys have the ability to build platforms. Uh, too bad you guys can't actually build platforms. Okay, well, that was a hectic first 11 minutes of this video. Jeez. I will say the only thing that is kind of annoying with this mod is the fact that some of uh, some of the frigates they like to go far out in the um, the battle so they can use their uh, their weapons at effective range, which is perfectly fine. But but because they do that in this mission, um, they tend to pull because uh, the enemies are kind of like bunched up into groups, and what they'll do is they'll end up going around like this and they'll pull like two or three groups to the fleet. We have to take our time in order to beat this because we can't rebuild our fleet and the more ships we lose, the harder this is going to get. Confirmed. All right, so we are facing in the right direction now. So let's go ahead and head in. Set back to neutral stance. Start moving these guys in and I'm going to keep these guys behind as support for the main fleet. We're going to keep him in passive for now. So they don't engage uh, um, unnecessary things. I want to control them. I do like the fact that these battle cruisers have names. The Iron Duke and the um, Ahura. Ahura. <laughs> I believe that's how you pronounce that. Hopefully it is. Uh, but... Let's keep slowly inching our way in, and then we'll destroy these patrols, and then we'll see what happens. You guys, stay behind for support. We're still kind of waiting for our turrets to get fully repaired, too. Because, uh, let's see, you are a kinetic weapon system, 4G advanced mass driver. So I'm sure that's an anti-frigate weapon. Yeah, I think both of these are anti-frigate. Here we go, we are fighting the um, platforms. Alright. Good job, battle cruisers. So let's start making our way up. Slowly crawl to the enemy and just pull the enemy one by one. Good gravy. A little overkill there. A couple of our battle cruisers launching all the ions and all the missiles at one little platform. Interesting. Roger. Okay, uh, we are slowly approaching the Vega Logistics Center that we're supposed to take out, and we found a, another um, little group of Vega units. Looks like we have an Archimedes II, a. Um, where are you? Uh, the Sapani II. Um, I believe this is some sort of, it's an attack frigate, so I think this is like a battle frigate. And then we have, it looks like a squadron of corvettes, the Thanar 3. This is an assault gunship, so it is an aggressive gunship, probably for fighting other corvettes. And then we have the uh, the Falika. The uh, which is an attack, a light attack corvette. So this is a corvette class that's probably specialized against fighters. That would be my group, or that would be my guess, not my group. And our battle cruisers are slowly moving in. What I want to do is get their attention. Once the battle cruisers have their complete attention, then we'll use our support group back here to try to help out the battle cruisers. 
And I'm going to keep moving until they see each other. So let's continue approaching slowly. And again, we're just we're just going to go really slow with this because we have to take our time. There are lots of groups. The AI doesn't actually like patrol or anything. They just sit there. So we have to pull them, kill them, and then continue on our our way without losing any of our ships because we can't rebuild any of these. So we'll keep you guys back. Continue moving you forward because we only want to pull this group. I'm sure there's a couple more groups next to them. So we have to go really slowly and take our time. This tactic kind of reminds me of something I used to do on Command & Conquer. Um, like there's a specific mission, I think it's like mission 7 on the GDI side where you have to be really really careful and not pull too many of the enemy. Otherwise you will overwhelm your base or you will wipe out your military and not have enough money to replenish them for the next part of the mission. So doing stuff like this, this is actually kind of my specialty of just inching forward and slowly getting to our destination while keeping our entire group intact. Alrighty. You guys are still moving forward. So I should have all of you guys in passive. Also, while I was waiting, I went ahead and put everyone in groups. Group one copy. So the battle cruisers are group one, and the support destroyers and light cruiser are group two, and the patrol frigates are group three. Because each one of these will specialize in something. Battle cruisers kill big ships, these guys support the battle cruisers, and these guys will take care of fighters and corvettes. Okay, uh, continue inching forward. I say inching forward, but we're still moving like 1.7 kilometers. <laughs> Every time we quote unquote inch forward. Okay, so it doesn't look like there are any other patrols, so we are going to go ahead and engage. Here we go. And now patrol frigates wants the fighters and corvettes get into range. Go ahead and fight them. There we go. Okay, it's still the only group around in range. Okay. And battle cruiser, go ahead and launch your fighters to help out. We don't want these guys to get too far away. So go ahead. Break off attack. Get back here. Battle cruisers, same with you. Break off attack. Move back. Stay in passive. Okay. Problem. Okay, okay, cool. Confirmed. Everyone dock back in. Point defense systems will take care of those. Group 3, get back here. Destroyers, get up closer. Okay, whoo! We did see the shipyard up here, which is good, but I have to be a little bit more careful with the uh, little light patrol frigate. Do I have you in passive? I do. Okay. So we're going to have to... These guys, we don't have to micromanage too much, uh, but the patrol frigate and the patrol frigates, or the patrol cruiser and the patrol frigates, we have to kind of micromanage a little bit because they like to kind of venture off because they, they like to circle in a... In a uh, um, um, like a far away a fashion and by doing that they might accidentally pull some fleets that will jeopardize this entire mission I'm gonna go ahead and save this real quick uh, let's see PDS V7 campaign mission 1 Burp. So far, we're doing good. We did, like I said, we did lose our carrier and our frigates, uh, but that's probably going to be expected. You guys docking, docking back into the um, uh, 
the battle cruiser, and then we'll continue inching forward with the battle cruiser. I did see a shipyard over here. Um, we'll see what kind of protection it has and what, what we should do in order to fight it. Those bombers do like to disable these guns. So, one of our kinetic cannon turrets is disabled. Same with the other one. Everything else still looks good. We might try to attack the shipyard and these three carriers here first, and hopefully we can do that without actually attracting the attention of this battlecruiser and some of its patrols. Hmm. This is going to be difficult. If we start with attacking this one, hopefully we can get their attention. Uh, let's let's continue inching forward. We'll inch forward in this direction and see if there's anything over here that would get pulled if I did something like this. Because if we can kill these carriers and then that shipyard. Then we can start working our way up here and killing the battle cruisers and then the carriers and then I know there's a gigantic swarm of fighters because that's what killed us in the last episode. Uh yeah. There's another destroyer down here with a couple frigates. I think about five frigates it looks like. So if we pull this, it's gonna pull this entire group. I'm hoping to ignore this group up here and just focus on these ones down here. All right, hang on. Oh my. Okay, so some of the... It looks like the battle cruiser and destroyer is moving down into this area. And there's a handful of frigates that came down as well. So they might be patrolling back and forth. We can't handle all these destroyers and battle cruisers as well as all the firepower that the carriers and shipyard are going to be throwing out. So we might have to wait because I think these guys are patrolling. I think we're going to have to wait until they go back up to the carriers. Because this here, this would be too much firepower. Roger. Roger, command. Moving I believe the that's the only thing that is protecting down this area. So if these destroyers and battle cruisers move back up to the carrier location, then we can wipe these guys out, and then when they come back down here, we can wipe them out. Okay. It doesn't seem to be anything else going on over here. So we should be able to do this as long as we play our cards right. Now I could also just completely ignore this and just head up here and kill the carriers. That is our primary objective is to kill the carriers and whatnot in this uh, harvesting area. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Well, anyways, I'm going to wait here, and we're going to see what the Vager does. If they just keep their units here, then we'll head over here, up here, to kill the carriers and whatnot. But if they do end up patrolling and moving the guys back up here to the carriers, then, um, then we'll take out the shipyard and then deal with them when they come back down. So that's the plan. Right for the moment, we are on the waiting game. Alrighty, um, I left to go get some lunch and um, just let the game run for about 10 something minutes, 10, 15 minutes, and the AI has not moved at all. <laughs> so I'm assuming what happened was the AI decided to bring the fleet down here because they noticed that we were getting closer to the shipyard. And unfortunately, we won't be able to handle this fleet. They have one battle cruiser. It looks like three destroyers. 
And one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight frigates, it looks like, and uh, two Corvette squadrons. Now, if this wasn't the PDS mod, we probably would be able to handle this. Um, but we would use the battle cruisers to focus on their battle cruiser, use our destroyers and whatnot to focus on the frigates. Once all the frigates are dead, then focus on the battle cruiser, and then once that's dead, focus on the destroyers, and then wipe out the carriers and shipyards. The problem is with PDS, all of the uh, production level ships have point defense systems. That's the whole point of the mod. So you would have to assume that these carriers would be equivalent to maybe another destroyer and the uh, shipyard would be equivalent to another battle cruiser. So with them in the, in the, in the factor, uh, we don't have the firepower to take this down. So my plan is since the entire fleet is down here by the shipyard, we're going to move up up and over onto the top of the Vega Logistics Center and start killing their carriers. And then just make our way down, because I believe the only... We don't actually have to kill the shipyard. Um, I don't think it's part of the Vega Logistics Center. Um, I think we actually just have to kill all the carriers inside the asteroid field. So, Roger. let us go ahead and start doing that. So, let's face our battle cruisers in the direction they're supposed to be facing. Are they just going to back up? Nope, nope, they're actually turning. All right, cool. Because battlecruisers have a difficult, have some difficulty turning in this mod, so in order to make them turn and face the direction you want to face, just have to move them like a couple hundred meters in the direction that you want them to face, and then they'll just rotate themselves. Otherwise, if I just try to move them like all the way over here, they'll just use their maneuvering thrusters to get to that area instead of rotating around and then going in that direction. Now, to be fair, this is space, so they don't actually really need to do all this. <laughs> they could just survive on their maneuvering thrusters, but from a, a gaming standpoint, it, it makes a lot more sense. So, let's face them in that direction, and then let's start heading up. And then as they move, we will follow with the support fleet. And um, I will cut to um, either we making it up to the top and fighting the carriers or something being engaged uh, where we'll have a fun PDS battle. Ooh, a battle cruiser just hyperspaced in. I'm not sure how. Oh god, more things are hyperspacing in. They're engaging! Attacking capital ship. Actually. Kill that first. Destroyers, move up. Engage, engage. Yep, here come all those fighters that came in last time. Roger. All right, uh, everyone, launch everything. Oh boy. Acknowledged. I'm hit. Omicron Prince. Focus on the battle cruiser. Destroyers. Group three destroyed. Group two. Focus on him. Roger. Oh god, we pulled the bottom. Oh boy, I was not expecting this. Yeah, they cruiser got way too low hit, hit. hmm how the heck do we beat this mission then I hyperspaced in two battle cruisers and they bring in a whole bunch of fighters they were way too much for any of our fighters to handle hmm Now, I was reading the objectives as I was slowly going through. We have to secure this area by force, and we will get a support station as a reward. Ready. But how do we actually secure this area? I wasn't expecting these battle cruisers to hyperspace in. All personnel, hmm. code red. Do we actually have to kill this? this uh, station down here first, we're going to lose a lot of reinforcements if we kill that station. Hmm. 
Because we're going to need a lot of firepower to kill these battle cruisers and plus these 50,000 fighters. Huh. Now, do I have to... Let's see. The Vega Raiders have established a logistics center in this resource area. Dislodge all enemy units by force and clear the area. So it's not just kill the carriers, it's kill everything. Copy. But I don't know how we actually beat this. Hmm. Because this is way too many fighters. We don't have the firepower in order to handle that. Is there a hidden objective or something I'm supposed to be doing to have the firepower needed to fight off these three or two battle cruisers? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what the answer to this is. But we might go ahead and try the second scenario because I... I don't really know what we're supposed to do. This is our primary objective right now, is to secure the resource area. But I don't know how we fight off all of these fighters and those battle cruisers that hyperspace in on top of us. Because we can't build anything, so we can't reinforce our fleet. We don't, there's no way to actually salvage anything that I know of. Wait a minute. Why do I have a shipyard under my control? Uh, um, is this my reward for actually beating that that part of the mission? I'm so confused right now. There is apparently a shipyard all the way down here. So hang on, we're probably not done with this yet. Let me go ahead and see if I can figure out a way to get down to the shipyard and get it under our control. Maybe that's what I need to do. I mean, we could build things from... The problem is, we can build things from our battle cruisers. We just aren't allowed to build anything. I don't know. Hmm. The setback will have consequences upon the people of Hagara. Mission failed. Because there's a trigger thing that happens once we get up to the the top of the map, or until when we start engaging the logistics center. And according to the mission, we have to wipe out everything within that objective area in order to complete it. Uh, so hang on, let me try something real quick. So the idea I'm proposing is that I'm going to go over the bubble and attack the enemy from outside the bubble. Because I think what happens is once you go inside this bubble, that's when the enemy sends in reinforcements. And according to the objectives, we, all we have to do is kill the enemies within this bubble. And if we can make it to where the enemies don't call in reinforcements, this will be easy, because they only have four frigates and three carriers that we have to kill. So I'm gonna go over to this side, kill that carrier, and then probably go down a little bit, kill those frigates and then see if I can kill the enemy from afar. Also if we can kill the carriers it'll make it a little bit easier to kill that re those reinforcements if there's no way to actually stop it. But we are going to try and see if we can trick the system because I don't know any way to actually beat this mission logically. Because we can't build up a military. Whatever what we have is what we have. Um, so there's no way for us to harvest all these uh, um, all these wrecks back here to build up a larger fleet. And there's no way for us to fight off all those squadrons of fighters. There's just way too many. They just completely overwhelm our point defense systems and kill us. Even if we would kill the battle cruisers, we would still lose from all those fighters because there's just so many that come in. So I'm going to try this and see what happens if we try and kill the enemy by not actually going into the um the little thingy and also for this battle i'm just gonna leave these guys here because they like to run around whenever they attack enemies and they're kind of the reason why we accidentally pulled the people from the shipyard because they got too close to them so we're just gonna leave the uh, toll wars and the uh, light patrol frigate or light um, patrol cruiser out of the fight 
We're just going to use our destroyers and our battle cruisers. Just to get rid of, or just to maximize our possibility of trying to beat this part of the mission. This is only the first part, too. Uh, once we get this done, then we have to build up a fleet, I believe, and then attack this area over here. Let's see if they actually engage this time. Group one reports enemy contact. They do engage. Okay. Hmm. It does. Oh, never mind. He's still engaging. Never mind. I was gonna say it looks like we're far away for the other battle cruisers and doing anything, but he is definitely engaging. All right, you guys, kill the fighters. Destroyers, help out. Actually, that's probably a better idea. Uh, fighters, are you gonna you know, do your thing? There you go. We didn't pull the other shipyard guys, which is good. This is a cakewalk. No problem. We are gonna lose this battle cruiser. All my controls are off. I'm hit. Ready. Ready. Target block. Opening fire. I'm taking hits here. We're going down. We're going. Arbiter, you get over here, help out. Both of you get over here. The slight cruiser is doing a pretty good job of distracting the enemy. But we are definitely going to be losing our battle cruisers. I'm hit. It is possible. What we can do is just try to come in at the highest point possible and then see if we can just pull all these guys in and just have a massive battle up here where I don't have to worry too much about them accidentally pulling the shipyard and stuff like that. We're gonna try that real quick. If this doesn't work, Reporting. I will call this, a, we will probably start working on the second mission and kind of call this an impossible mission. Now, if there wasn't, if they weren't bringing in like reinforcements, let's see how high can we go? Apparently we can go pretty high. Let's just go to the top of the map and then see if they still come in and automatically get pulled. If they do, we will just engage them at the top of the map and hopefully we can kill them. Because that would, that would be even better because then that means we can focus on killing the fighters and corvettes before the battle cruisers approach and then focus on killing the battle cruisers and then make our way down. This is going to be... This should be on one of the home run list of possible videos now. Okay, we are 23 kilometers above the asteroid field that we're supposed to be um, taken care of. So my plan now is to grab one of the Tolwar frigates, bring them down, initiate the enemy reinforcement sequence, bring them back up here, and um, hopefully if they don't follow us, we can just slowly pick them off one by one using the, uh, um, uh, the tactics that we use to actually get up here. So that is the plan. Uh, let me go ahead and save it real quick, and hopefully this plan actually works. All right, Mr. Patrol Frigate, I got a um, job for you. Let's head down to the asteroid field. Um, also, all of you guys need to be on passive, especially the one I'm actually controlling, because I don't want you to engage. All I want you to do is trigger the enemy reinforcements and then run right back up here. That's all I want you to do. Use those incredible patrol engines you have to make your way back up. And do not 
Engage. <clears throat> Sorry. I've been eating lunch and snacking um, during this recording because it's a little bit longer than I expected it to be. But uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll actually be able to do something. Ho hopefully we can actually beat this part and move on to the second part of this mission. If this doesn't work, then I'm pretty much out of ideas and we'll just start the second uh, mission after this. Nope. I hear hyperspace. Run! There they are. Did they see us? No. They didn't. They didn't. Cool. And looks like only half of the reinforcements came in too. Uh, looks like four frigates, this guy, and a battle cruiser. The only things that hyperspace done. Cool. Cool. So that means if we get rid of this, um, the second hyperspace uh, patrol won't actually do anything. That's cool. All right, patrol frigate. What I want you to do is attack the battle cruiser, and then we will bring it up to our battle cruisers. So stop is S. We'll go ahead and have you set. Here we go. We got his attention. Get out of there! Ow! Group three reports enemy contact. And he's moving. Hee hee hee. No problem. No problem. Stabilizers offline. We're going down. Hmm. He didn't actually make it. Attack complete. Awaiting further orders. I have to bring the bigger one. Okay. That's why we saved it. Hmm. Reloading it caused him to hyperspace back in. Interesting. Oh, you move faster than these guys? Wow. Reporting. On our way. Okay. It's good now. Let's pull up this battle cruiser. All right, move. Up two and move. Enemy contact. Roger. Roger, command. Moving to target point. All the fighters came in. Hmm. It didn't come in on the frigate. Group three reports enemy contact. Roger. Group two under attack. Hmm. Group three under attack. Weird. Group reports enemy contact. Attack complete. Awaiting further orders. Run! Beta five, skip the center and engage my target. There we go. I will survive. Group two under attack. There we go. Group two reports enemy contact. Battle cruisers, get ready to protect. Awaiting further orders. Reporting. Acknowledged. Hmm. We're taking light damage, but it's not what we can't handle. Roger. Attention, fleet. Friendly's under fire. Request orders. There we go, there we go. Kill him! Awaiting orders. Copy. Everyone, launch everything! Target five, nine, two, four. 
reporting. Acknowledged. You Roger, stop and move here. Stay close to the battlecruiser's uh, point defense system so they can protect you. We'll be on the way shortly. Attention fleet, friendlies under fire. Request orders. No problem. You guys. Defensive. And help out. You guys stop. And move up. Okay. Well, at least we killed most of those fighters. Attack run complete. Holding pattern locked. Frigate under attack. We got him napping. This is a cakewalk. Reporting. So that's good. We were able to kill a lot of those uh, fighters. I don't think we killed them all. I think most of them just retreated. So maybe, maybe this is what we have to do. Maybe we have to do just some hit and run tactics, and just stay without, stay um, out of the AI's range, and just slowly uh, replenish their forces to where we can just kill them with the main force. But in the meantime, I guess we're gonna wait until this guy heals. I don't have any way to heal him manually, um, or heal him quicker, so he's just gonna have to heal over time. And we're gonna use him to pull the enemy up here. The patrol frigates could do it, but they're not quite fast enough and they don't have enough health to handle all those bombers. So we'll bring, uh, let's see. Yeah, this one has 400,000 health. Yeah, 1.6 million health, good gravy. I forget how interesting the uh, health scales, uh, the armor scales are in this um, mod. But yeah, we'll wait till the uh, cruiser gets repaired and then we will send them back down and bring more stuff up. So in the meantime, uh, let's see, all of our fighters look like they're doing good. So we will bring them up here. Destroyers, we will bring you down. You guys will stay here and protect the fleet. All hands, code green, one team go to sleep. Is that what he said? That's interesting. Confirmed. So yeah, uh, we'll be back once the light cruiser gets itself completely repaired. Okay, I think we are close enough. Um, I've been recording this for almost two hours, so you guys may have noticed I changed the music because listening to the same song over and over and over for two hours straight might drive you a little crazy. So I have my own homeworld music playing right now. Uh, do do do. So let's go ahead and make our way down here. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what kind of damage we can cause. I don't know why I love Homeworld 1 soundtrack, especially all the ambient sounds. It goes with like any Homeworld mod. It's Quite amazing. Uh, do do do. So we want to attack this guy. Target confirmed. ICA is ready. And then get ready to run for our life. All right, run. Stop what you're doing and run. Group two reports enemy contact. Eight to five. Skip the spitter and engage my target. Oh, those other guys in hyperspace in yet. Oh, right, uh, I had to reload the game because Homeworld 2 doesn't like it when you minimize it. So I had to minimize it to get my uh, my music working, and then when I tried getting back in the game, it worked the first time, and then minimized it again to adjust some settings, and it didn't like it. <laughs> so it crashed, and I had to reload. What are you doing there, Mr. Carrier? You guys not chasing? Okay, so I'm kind of afraid that those units that we killed earlier might have been resetted. Reporting. Roger. Well, let us go ahead and move these guys down. Because we didn't pull any enemies up. I wonder if we killed all the ones that 
you pull up. I don't know. There were quite a bit of fighters that we killed. So if we can kill that battle cruiser, that would drastically help us because it means they will only have one battle cruiser left. And I did these guys wrong. Roger, command. Moving to target point. Rotate around, boys. And we can start moving you down and see what happens. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can get this area and move on to the next part of the mission. Also, there's a pretty, well, you, you guys won't know this either way, but there's a pretty good chance that we're, I, I was going to say, there's a pretty good chance that there won't be a video this week, but you guys won't know that because <laughs> if there's not an upload, um, there's no way I can actually tell you that in the actual video that, hey, there's not going to be a video this week because it'll be coming out next week. But anyways, yeah. I mean, I'm having fun with this mission um, because, because this is kind of like my specialty of trying to slowly chip away at the enemy's armor uh, to expose them and make them weaker so the main force can come in and do the damage. Um, but it's just the only thing I really have to worry about is those crap ton of fighters. That's kind of the thing I'm afraid of, but I believe we killed most of them when we brought them up here because um, they were all attacking this guy and then we were able to use our destroyers and battle cruisers and patrol frigates and whatnot to kind of wipe them out quickly because they had nothing protecting them. I'm still going to keep the patrol frigate and the patrol cruiser out of the battle for now because they like to move around a lot when they engage. So, I'm sorry if I keep getting space too many times. I don't mean to. I just keep thinking like, oh yeah, I need to move that unit. Oh yeah, I need to move that unit. Let's go ahead, make our way down by about five kilometers. I am also going to keep saving this, just in case this is a bad idea. But what I want to do is bring the battle cruisers down to get attention of the enemy battle cruiser, use the destroyers and the built and the fighters and corvettes to defend them. And um hopefully we can start taking out those resources. Copy. But I do know that whenever you restart the mission, the reinforcements that are supposed to come in won't come back in until they you actually spawn them in. They don't stay in permanently after you um, reload the mission, which is kind of weird. Ooh, the Kadesh theme song. Indeed. That actually kind of goes pretty well with this mission. Very mysterious, very ominous. There's no nebula or anything around here, because it's, it's Agara. Still mysterious. Also, if you guys wonder why I keep doing that, that's because uh, sometimes there's an engine glitch. Like, I noticed, especially on the cruiser, like, if you zoom in all the way and then zoom out, you can still hear the engine sound. So a quick way to fix that is go into the menu and hop back out. Because going to the menu turns off all sounds, and then hopping back out just makes everything back to normal. That is a glitch that's been with Homeworld 2 since the dawn of age, the dawn of time, and it's more proof that Homeworld Remastered is just a heavily modified Homeworld 2 engine because that glitch is still in that game. Moving to destination. Kind of ticked me off a little bit when I figured that out. I was so happy for Homeworld Remastered because I was like, oh yeah, finally, we have our own engine where um, Kushan and Higarin and Vager and Titan can all play together, and it's just a heavily modified Homeworld 2 engine. Very disappointing. Hopefully Homeworld 3 will be a lot better, but considering the fact I think Homeworld 3 is being built from scratch, which is why it's taking a long time to get it built, gives me hope that that engine will be a lot better. It will be able to do a whole lot more cool things, modding and, um, and uh, gameplay-wise. All right. There's still a half a while. We're still approaching. We can see them from here now.
We got two battle cruisers. Two battle cruisers. I believe this is the rest of that invasion fleet. We're supposed to fight off four destroyers. Um, a bunch of frigates. Frigates I'm not too worried about. Our battle cruisers can handle that. I mean, there's a lot of frigates. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There's fourteen frigates. That's still a really big number. Uh but we need what we need to do is try to separate this. So let's put you guys in passive. And then I'm gonna try to bring up a couple of the destroyers and frigates. So we're gonna attack this destroyer, bring them up to the battle cruisers, wipe them out, and then go from there. Maybe attack this battle cruiser and do the same thing. I don't know. Copy. Oh, but let's try it. All right, patrol frigate. I got you a mission. I want you to go over here. And I want you to fight this destroyer and bring it up. Because even if we pull them that way, the frigates and whatnot should get to us first, and then the destroyers, and then the battle cruisers. So hopefully we can just slowly get rid of them and then once we get rid of all those all we have to do now is will be to kill the three carriers that are within this area and we should have the first part done also i have no idea how long this video is going to be i really want to try to get through this part and i don't want to split into multiple videos so there's a possibility this might be like an hour long video <laughs> apologize about that Oh well. Let us go, little light cruiser. So light cruiser, what I want you to do Attack that destroyer. Are you still in? Nope, you're not in passive. Attack that destroyer, and then we will move you right back up here. Copy. Right, move. Stop engaging and move. Oh God. You guys, do not engage. Do not engage. Wait for them to get closer to you. Uh, we lost that cruiser. Crap. We're going down. We're going. Oh, they did still have all the fighters. Hmm. Ready. Lock all weapons on target. All right, patrol frigate, get down here. Kill these fighters. Battle cruisers, uh, go ahead and launch everything. Move up. Group three reports enemy contact. Supporting friendly unit. Everyone, stop what you're doing and move up. There we go. There we go. Confirmed. All personnel code red. Standing by. Hmm. 
We didn't pull any of the big stuff, but we 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 pulled all the fighters and corvettes. I still think this is gonna be too much damage for us to handle. All right, you focus on killing them. Battle cruisers. Yep, focus on the frigates. Evade, evade. Tactical report, they're dropping like flies, sir. Yeah, there's just way too many fighters. I have no idea how to handle this many fighters with the current and power that we have. We're going down. We're going Oh Well, we're down to our battle cruisers. Then Yeah. I don't think we're gonna win this. So anyways, um Oh my god, so much firepower is lagging the game. Jeez. Yeah, there, there's no way we're gonna win those. I don't know how to fight off that invasion force. It's just way too many to actually fight off. So anyways, uh, we're gonna go ahead and end this episode here. I've been trying to beat this for two hours um, and we're just not making any progress. So instead, next week's episode, we're gonna start on, um, on the second campaign uh, mission because we can't beat this one. I. I've tried like five different tactics. I've tried to slowly, we, we've tried to bombard the enemy, like rush tactics, which we did last episode, didn't work. Um, we've tried other episodes or other defensive tactics, didn't work. Um, we tried sneaky tactics from like the sky and just slowly like bringing them up here, but they just bring in so many fighters. If they didn't have all of these bombers, we probably could win. These bombers just overwhelm us. So yeah, next week's episode, we're going to start the second um, campaign mission and see if we can beat that one. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's probably a long one, but we tried and tried and we just couldn't succeed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please leave a like if you did. If you like what I do, consider subscribing and I'll check you guys out in the next video. Till then, this is Captain Sobon signing out. Hyperspace procedures initiated. The mothership must survive.